I printed a, a, a mic so that I can drop it. I got a new camera and I don't know where the lens is. I want to look into your eyes. Okay. Well, I need a piece of tape to know where I'm supposed to look. <laughs> Hey, Sugar Robot Nation, Queen here. Being the queen of a fictional nation is the best. I haven't had to cut a single ribbon and there's no law to be upheld or anything. Maybe we should have some laws though. At least one. Um, don't be a dick. <clears throat> Thou shall not be a dick. Actually, that doesn't make sense because dicks are great. Like they're essential in reproduction. None of us would be here if it wasn't for dicks. Big fan of your work, dicks. You're doing great. Next time somebody calls you a dick, you should just be like, oh, you mean because I can be both soft and hard and because I stand up for myself? Mic drop. Assholes on the other hand stink and they're uptight and full of shit. So be a dick, but don't be an asshole. First law of the shitty robot nation. Ding, 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 ding. I'm kind of worried about my mental health because I built three projects in a row that are useful. Like they're not shitty at all. I don't know, like do I have a fever or am I constipated or am I like, in heat or something? Who knows? I've just like built these useful things. They don't suck at all. What's wrong with me? No, but seriously, building shitty robots used to be my hobby and then it became my job, which meant that I had to make a new hobby. And recently I've built all of this furniture and I really want to show you some of it because I'm really proud of it. And don't worry, I'm still gonna build shitty robots. Like I still really like doing that. But I, I think even I need to take a break sometimes. Okay, here we go. First project. Wait, I need some safety glasses. Not actually on my eyes, I just need them on my head. I needed some sort of hardware organizer, so I made this out of copper plumbing. These big ones are just end caps and then they're attached to the smaller copper pipe using tube clamps and they just like swivel around and you can put random things in it. It like works really well and it's like fun to move around. And it was actually really simple to make. It was just a lot of holes to drill, but other than that it was Easy peasy. I'm like standing on my toes because I'm trying to be in frame. Maybe I have like something I can stand on. No. I really like when things change proportion. So like when big things become small or small things become big. Does this call for another dick joke or is it too many dick jokes for a video? I'm just gonna keep it inside. I needed a place to hang my clothes and I thought it would be fun to make a big coat hanger where I could hang my smaller coat hangers. So I made this. Coat hanger, coat hanger, coat hanger squared or I, I don't know, big ass coat hanger. I use this really cool tool for it called the Shaper Origin. Basically it's like a handheld CNC mill. So I designed this coat hanger in Illustrator. You just upload it to the Origin and you get like plywood or whatever material you wanna cut it out of. And you just like hold the CNC roughly over the path. And then it like corrects it for you and it makes like this really smooth edge. There's a video on Tested of when I make this coat hanger. So check that out. There's a link in the description and you can have all the coat hangers you want. Just, just, all the coat hangers. Okay, last project. I finished this just yesterday and yeah, it's just like a side table that looks like a spool. So I made this out of 32 layers of three quarter inch plywood. I cut each layer individually in three different steps using a router. And then I just like screwed and glued them together. And it took me two days just to make like the, the wooden part of it. Then I burnished this top using a soldering iron and I varnished the whole thing. And the thread that's wrapped around is actually this fabric cable. And in the end here, we have a little light bulb that we can turn on. Wait. Ooh, so nice. Also, I just want to point out that the cable that's wrapped around it doesn't actually carry any current because then this whole thing would be like a huge magnetic coil. Yeah, studying physics in college for one year at least taught me that. Right hand rule. This is like the gangster sign of engineering. <laughs> Also, just this needle in itself took two days to make. My good friend Marcus, who's a fabricator, helped me make it and like figure out how to do it. Cause I was like, I need a giant needle. And he was like, okay, we'll figure it out. What we did was we got this like solid aluminum rod and we lathed it. And then we flattened the fascia and made the eyelet itself using a milling machine. And then we just like polished the shit out of it and got three layers of epoxy on it just to protect the surface and also that it like keeps its shine. And just like that, you have a spool. I like spool so much. I just wanna bring spool everywhere. Work into the doctor's office and to, to the grocery store. I just, I just wanna be with spool forever. Don't you dare to say anything mean about spool. Because spool is great. I love spool. It's funny because when I posted these projects, people have been all upset and like, wait, the 
this doesn't suck at all. Why did you post this? Oh, oh, oh gosh, don't, take it away, take it away. Well, thanks for keeping me on brand, I guess. Either way, tomorrow I'm traveling to Europe and I'm gonna be on the road for a month. I'm going to Edinburgh, Stockholm, London, and Berlin. And I'm gonna try to vlog, but I'm not sure how much time I'll have because I'm working a lot and then I'm also gonna try to take some time off. Otherwise, I'm gonna be on Instagram and Twitter, so... Follow me! If that's not the best call to action you've ever seen, I don't know what is. Also, November 1st is my birthday! Yeah, I turned 26. 25 was freaking wild, so I can't expect anything less from 26. Because 26 is one more than 25, so I have to expect more. Don't forget to tell me happy birthday on November 1st. I love birthdays, like sing me a song or something. Mm. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Spool. 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 I just want to have spool in bed. Ah! I just get very tired of myself sometimes.